All right, so to test fine touch or discriminative touch, you can use a wisp of cotton. If you have a really cool reflex hammer that has multiple tools in it, you can use the little brush that comes with it. You can use your fingertip. It's not encouraged to because it's not as uh, specific. But if you use your fingertip, you cannot depress the skin. If you depress the skin, you're testing a little bit more of the pressure sensation. So if you have nothing else available and you want to do a quick screen, you can do the lightest, lightest touch you can with your fingertip, not depressing the skin. When you learn later on in the curriculum, the cotton wisp or the monofilaments that we'll talk about in a little bit, or even like some very fine fishing wire are the best to test the dermatomes. So if I have my patient here and she's complaining of upper extremity sensory loss or upper extremity function loss, I'm gonna do sensation having to do with her upper extremity. If she's talking about walking issues, balance issues, I'm gonna test her lower extremity. Do you mind popping off your socks and shoes? Thank you. My toes are. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I, we've already gone over how to, how to test sensation on the face using the cotton wisp, and you can actually do all the sensation testing today with, with sharp dull on the face as well, but we tend to just leave it as light touch. So knowing what I know about the dermatomes, I could, you mind if I just give it a little bit there? So if I wanna go down the dermatomes, first thing first is I wanna make sure that she understands the test, what the sensation is that she's detecting and what I wanna know from her. So let's just say she has a problem on her right side, then I would go to the left side and I would say, I'm going to touch you in various areas of your, of your right arm and it's going to feel like that. Were you able to touch that? Were you able to feel that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. I'm testing again on her intact side. Just let me know if you feel that sensation. Mm -hmm. Good, so I know she understands what she's supposed to, to test. So close your eyes again. And I might vary up where my dermatomes are so that I don't go in a pattern, but if you're learning them, it's okay to go in a pattern. So I can do the, the C3, did you feel that? Mm -hmm. C4, C5, no. kidding, <laughs> C5, mm -hmm. C6, mm -hmm. C7, C8, yeah. T1, T2, okay? Now there's some texts that say leave the sensation on for about a second, so that's fair game. But first I usually do a really quick pass. If they don't, then I may go back and say, okay, let me wait that second, because maybe it's just a slow transmission. But my first pass is usually really, really quick. Right, so that's fine touch of the upper extremity. The lower extremity, I would ideally want her in shorts, but it's fine. I could go through I have the. Shorts. Nah, it's fine. Oh, there you go. Since you already have them on. Did you put C5 and T1 in the same spot? No, C5, uh, C5, T1. I did do them in the, right, in the wrong spot. So okay. C5, because I didn't position wrong. C5, and that's T1. Okay. okay, sorry about that. Thanks for catching up. So over here, if I wanted L1. L2, L3, L4, L5, S1, and back of the knee, S2. But if I'm really, this is my patient, I'm testing them. What it would really look like is, you know, she has her, her eyes closed. I've already uh, taught her the test. I would say, let me know when you feel that sensation. And sometimes I would go, do you feel me over here? No. How about over here? Yes. How about over here? <coughs> yeah. What about over here? Yep. I broke away from the dermatome because I felt like it. How about over here? And how about over here? Mm -hmm. Good. So I usually go a little bit more scattered, but again, for you guys, it's okay to go in order for now. And I would compare bilaterally, just to make sure that there, there, you know, that there's not something I'm missing. So I would do it quickly on the on what I perceive as the intact side, and then probably slower on the impaired side, because I need to know what if she just for some reason has a bilateral loss that it's less impaired on the intact side. So I really want to compare bilaterally. And I'm always making sure I can teach the test. If I go, I'm gonna, you're gonna feel something like this, and she goes, I don't feel that. All right, well, then I can't test there. I have to find an area that she can feel this so she understands what's going on. All right, so that is the fine discriminative touch, upper extremity, lower extremity. We'll run through that really quickly and we'll move on to the next one.